Hi there! Tactical Teach here, here with a summer EDC update. It's been about a year since my last update, so uh, there's going to be a quite a bit of stuff that I'm going to show you and mention. Um, because there's a lot of stuff in the past year. So, let's start off with the essentials. Wallet. It is a Remington brand wallet that I picked up from Walmart. It holds on my stuff. I like it. It's nice. Up next we have the keys. Um, same pretty much as the last EDC update. Got that key smart. It's working better. I put some super glue on it so it's not so loose. Still rocking the uh, Leatherman squirt. But this is the new thing. The CRKT Viva. It's awesome. Better than the Gerber shard in my opinion. It's got a flathead, bottle opener right here, little prior. Most important is this pocket key fob holder. You slide that in right there and it holds your keys so when you need them, easy access. Shoop. Awesome. Um, always carry a bandana. Because. Reasons. Why not? Why wouldn't you carry a bandana? Um, always have on me a pen. My recent obsession of pens has been these little fancy fountain pens from Pilot. It's a Pilot Varsity. Um, it's cool. It makes you feel fancy. But whether it's a Pilot G2 or a Uniball or whatever, it's pens a pen. Always wear a watch. What I'm doing depends on what type of watch I have. If I'm doing something a little more classy, I have this uh, Citizen Eco Drive fancy looking watch but my daily workhorse for the summer is this G-Shock in blue. During the school year I have a smartwatch that I use quite often. Now I always have a lighter on me. Not because I smoke but you never know when a lighter can come in handy for starting a fire lighting tiki torches at a picnic barbecue that keeps mosquitoes away citronella candles or one of your buddies is like, hey, can you light up this cigarette? You never know. So starting with the ordinary, I rotate one of three Zippos. This one has an ace on it. This one's matte blue. I have another one that's not as shiny as this one, but it's your standard Zippo inserts. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Uh, the crazy one I have is this arc lighter. It's USB powered. When I press the button, you'll see light kind of shining. Gonna focus on that a little more. Nope. Um, they have four diodes or nodes. Press the button, an electrical charge goes between them in a cool cross pattern. And to top it all off, it's charged via USB. And the battery lasts forever. It's been a couple months. Works great. Another basic that I always have on me is not a big blue case. No, it's what's inside the big blue case. A pair of sunglasses. I have a couple pairs of Oakleys that I rotate between because it doesn't matter the time of year. Sunglasses are always cool. So before we get into blades, there's a lot of them. I'm not going to explain what, I'm going to give them names, but I'm not going to review them. This is not the time, not the place. Um, and because I've already done that, and when I tried to edit that video, it was like a 40 minute video. Insane. So we're going to start off with what I call, literally, EDC blades. I will have one of these knives, or more of these knives, on me every day. So, without further ado, let's start off with the EDC pocket knives. So as a disclaimer, before I jump into knives, I will say this time and time again in all my videos, being as I am an educator in a school system, as well as a guy who is into gear, knives, and guns, which I haven't done any reviews or anything on. I'll have to fix that. Um, I do not carry these sharp pointy things, minus what's on my keys, in the school. You just don't do it. So, it's never a big deal. So, again, I do not carry these things in the school. Outside of school, 
Oh yeah. Inside the school? No, no. EDC pocket knives. We have a Victorinox Cadet. A Case Stockman in large, I believe. And a buck knife. These two are three bladed. This one is one bladed. I will always have one of these in my pocket. Always, always, always. More often than not, it's this Victorinox because it has multiple functions and I've actually used the other functions more so than the knife. So I also generally have this Benchmade SOCP. I might have got some dyslexia on that. Um, I wear this as a boot knife. I wear it in my boots and nobody is none the wiser. It's a cool little punch dagger thing. 440 C steel only partially sharpened so I can rub up on that all day but as soon as you see it, it gets shiny it's fairly sharp but it's meant for poking things it's really great at opening letters the other blade if I'm not if I don't have this on me because I'm not wearing boots then I have this it's the CRKT minimalist um, in a Bowie I love this knife uh, during the summer, I have it on me all the time. It's a great little knife. It takes a wicked edge and it holds it pretty well. And it's one of those knives that I'm not worried about using and abusing um, for opening them up, opening up small things, packs of dirt, uh, boxes, packages, etc. Great knife. I also want to mention before we get started that I do not carry all these at the same time. I've broken them down into brands to make life just that much easier. So up first we have my Spyderco family and you will see a lot of blue. So we have the Manix 2XL with the blue clear grips. We have a blue Endura. We have a blue Delica. We have a blue Paramilitary 2 and the odd one an orange dragonfly too. Um, with my spider codes, I tend to run a system with them. Not so much with these guys, but with my Endora, my Delica, and my dragonfly. Depending on how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I'll rock my blue team. Sometimes I'll rock my Dura and my Dragonfly. Sometimes I'll rock my Delica and my Dragonfly. It depends on how I'm feeling because the Dragonfly is a great little utility knife. So is the Delica. But this guy is just a big old knife. So I run different systems with different purposes in mind. Up next we have my autos, Kershaw Launch 5, Microtech Ultratech Jedi Master, a Piranha DNA, and a Piranha Fingerling. Up next we have my two Benchmates, Griptilian, and the Osborne 940-2. Both are great knives, both are well used. And last, but not least, we have my Kershaws. We have a Kershaw Leak and a Kershaw Cryo 2. Now out of all those knives, some of you might be wondering, hey, Tactical Teach, if you were to have a top three, what would they be? Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm glad you asked. In Coming up in last place is my first serious knife in my knife collection, the Spyderco Delica. Um, love this knife, it always finds its way back into my pocket. In second place, we have the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It's a great knife, great blade, love it to pieces. Now seeing this, you might go, hmm, Tactical Peach, I see a trend. You're kind of a Spyderco fanboy. And normally I would say yes, but not today. My number one most carried knife is this. 
Benchmade Osborne 940-2. It is always in my pocket. It is a sleek looking blade and it cuts real nice. So without further ado, hopefully in the future I will do better at keeping things updated. If you guys have any questions, comments, uh, want me to review any of the blades that I've talked about, uh, want my opinions on them, let me know and I'll throw a video together because why not? Um, and without any further ado, that, that's it, the end of the video. Subscribe if you want to, like if you want to, dislike if you want to. I don't care, I'm doing this for fun. So, whatever you feel after watching this, have a nice day.